type of smog is the winter smog. Winter smog, which is because of temperature inversion of atmosphere. Of atmosphere. Dusra smog hai, the summer smog. A summer smog ko photochemical smog bhi bolte hai. It's also called as the photochemical smog. This happens because this happens because of the sunlight interacting with pollutants. Right further, that uh, smogs are because of both primary pollutants and also secondary pollutants. Primary emissions are because of primary emissions or because of secondary emissions. The primary emissions hain, which are directly from the source, primary emissions that are directly from the source are sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides and nitrogen oxides. And most of these cause the winter smogs. Most of these cause winter smogs. Secondary pollutants such as ozone along with hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxide. Ozone along with hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxide. They combine in the presence of sunlight and form summer smogs. Okay? So winter smog hai, when you say that it is sulfur largely plus also nitrogen. Summer wale mein ozone ka bhoat important role hai. Aur ye ozone is secondary emission. This is related to hydrocarbons. It is related to hydrocarbons and related to nitrogen oxides. In the presence of sunlight, they combine karte hai. And these cause the summer smog. Okay? This question is about prelims. Okay, last examination, mein, something about the photochemical smogs. This summer smog ko hi bolte hai, photochemical smogs. The, this is the bad ozone. Ozone jo troposphere mein milta hai. You can add this point here. The tropospheric ozone is bad ozone. It is a pollutant. Unlike the stratospheric ozone. Now, measures for managing air pollution. Okay. One, two, three, four point. The most important institution to manage air pollution, the most important institution for managing air pollution is CPCB, Central Pollution Control Board. CPCB. It is a statutory organization. It's under MOE. EFCC, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, is under MOEFCC. It was established under Water Pollution Act and Air Pollution Act. Water Pollution Act 1974 mein tha, and Water Pollution Act was in 1981. So CPCB is a common institution to manage air and water pollution. The common institution, the common agency to manage air and water pollution. Air wala 81 mein. Check it. Uske baad, ye CP, CB ka main functions kya hai? What are the main functions of CPCB? One is, it provides all technical service to MOEFCC. So it's like it is the technical wing. It is the technical wing of MOEFCC. Number two, number two, it is the advisory board for the union government on industrial air and water pollution. It takes up all and monitors pollution prevention programs. Next, along with the state pollution control boards, it is responsible for implementation of all pollution, pollution control programs. Next. A CPCB, a role has been expanded. Its role has been expanded under Environment Protection Act 1986. 1986. The Environment Protection Act, hai. this is the main act to control all pollution. There is a forest act, there is a wildlife act, there is a pollution act. Hai. Forest act, tell you. 
ओके फॉरेस्ट एक्ट 27 का है फॉरेस्ट कंजर्वेशन एक्ट 1980 का है फॉरेस्ट राइट्स एक्ट 2006 का है ये तीन मेन फॉरेस्ट वाले हैं ठीक है एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ वाला 1972 एक्ट है ठीक है सो दीज टू आर फोकस्ड ऑन कंजर्वेशन एंड यूज द थर्ड कैटेगरी में आता है ये इन्वायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट इस एक्ट का काम है सारा प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ पोल्यूशन एंड इट वर्क्स अलोंग विथ द एयर पोल्यूशन एक्ट एंड वाटर पोल्यूशन एक्ट वाटर पोल्यूशन एक्ट 1974 एंड एयर पोल्यूशन एक्ट 1981 इसका एक आई टॉक अबाउट इट आफ्टरवर्ड्स एक कंबाइंड इज 1986 का एनवायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट